welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't filmed a vlog since a couple of days after Christmas, just before New Year. So, Happy New Year! Yes, we are mid-February, but Happy New Year all the same. So, I am going to do a video on what I use for my eczema. I thought what I'd do is just put a little video together of what I use, what I get from the doctors, uh, what I've bought over the counter, um, because maybe it'll help somebody, you never know. Uh, living in Wales, we actually get free prescriptions, uh, which I'm very, very lucky um, as my prescriptions are getting bigger and bigger and bigger at the minute with my skin. Um, so I understand that in England and Scotland, it's, is it about eight pounds something per prescription? Per item? Not prescription, per item. That's a lot. Um, so I do realise I am very lucky, um, but I just thought I'd show you what we get. So let's start. Um, I'm going to insert a video here of me um, the other morning. Uh, after I'd been very anxious the night before. I suffered badly with anxiety. I'd been very, very anxious the night before. And this is what I woke up like after. Um, as you can see, my face is very swollen. It's very red, very sore uh, and very dry. Over the counter stuff, first off, my go-to number one cream, Aveeno. Aveeno has helped me and my son massively. Um, this is my go-to product, definitely. I've only just now got this on prescription um, after three years. It's not cheap. It's like £8 a tub. Um, and I was going through about one of these a week. So I actually asked, is there any way I can have this on prescription for now uh, whilst my, my eczema was at its worst? Um, so I got it. Brilliant. Um, this, if I'm ever dry anywhere... Um, if I'm itchy, I will always put this on first before I then go to a cream that I've either prescribed or um, that I want to try something else. Um, other things I've bought over the counter, Cetraben. Um, I saw Nadia Swahala, Swah I can't say her last name, off Loose Women. Uh, she uses this. Um, as she, I saw on Instagram, um, her face was very similar to how mine was the other morning. Um, and I saw that she uses this stuff, so I bought it. I've used the whole thing. Uh, this was about um, maybe nearly a year ago I, I used this. Uh, it was good. It was good. If you need uh, something that's like a deep moisturiser, again, yeah. What I wouldn't buy was Cetraben ointment. It's like rubbing Vaseline all over you. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't soak in. If it did soak in, it just left me really dry after. Um, I prevent... Um, coming out in more breakouts by washing my clothes in this. It's Surcare, Surecare, I call it Surcare. Um, it's got nothing in it that can irritate your skin. It's non-bio, there's no fragrance in it. Um, and this, I, I think, is a massive help. I use this all the time. Unfortunately, it's really expensive. This is about £6, um, which I'm... I'm blown away by it was in savers for about three pounds sixty they've stopped doing it uh tesco's my local tesco's um have stopped selling it so i went and got every single bottle i've probably got about 12 bottles of this stuff now and i got it for like one pound twenty rather than six pounds i'm gonna do it aren't i um so if you can find that anywhere I would suggest using that to wash your clothes in. Moving on to prescriptions. What do I take on prescription? Um, if my skin is really bad to the point of I've gone to the doctor, um, I will tend to use all this stuff to prevent me going to the doctors. Uh, so I'll try everything first and if it's not working, then I'll go to the doctor. Um, I actually get chlorphenamine tablets that I take uh, every day, um, only for a month. And after that month, then you have to have a break from them. Um, I have loratadine, which is actually like an antihistamine that I take before bed uh, at night um, because I, I scratch a hell of a lot. Um, Betnovate, that is a really good one if you're, if it's um, just before it gets to the unbroken part of it. If it's really red, but your skin hasn't broken, this is exceptionally good. I swear by Betnovate if I can get my hands on it. Uh, Dermavate, 
Dermavate cream is a big steroid cream, to my knowledge. Um, it's very thick. And you really have to use a small amount and rub in. They say only to use small amounts on small areas, but if your body is covered, I mean, I've been covered recently, head to toe, and I mean in my scalp. Um, things like this is hard to use, so I've struggled using that, hence going for the Betnovate. Diprobase is always a winner um if for any reason i haven't got this or i want a thicker moisturizer that i'm doing a more intense if i'm terribly dry i might use this first and then slap this on and just let it soak in so dipper base is really good i have used double base before as well just covering up my name and address um double base that is very thin very greasy uh, but that's good if you've just got out of the shower or just got out of the bath and you're still damp. Rub some of that and it'll soak into the skin better. Um, you can also put that on just before you're going to get in the bath. So be careful, you'll be slippy. Really good if you have got broken skin. This is actually quite good to use. Uh, it doesn't sting or anything, so I actually really like that. I've just had this this time from the doctor to use in the shower or the bath. Uh, Dermol 200. It looks like something my grandma might have had in her cupboard. Uh, this is my second bottle that I've had this time. I really like it. It really, after the shower, I can feel that it's a lot smoother before I then put all the creams on. So it's a good, that I'm really enjoying that. Uh, I used to use this on my son. This is actually my son's bottle from his prescription um, before I had this. Uh, so if the doctor gives you this, it's still very good. You just use one to three capfuls in your bath. Uh, soak for about 15 20 minutes and then never rub never rub your towel you pat it um i'm i'm literally flaking i'm not in a minute i was flaking my skin was that dry that i could literally do that and it'd just be all over uh, i've just bought some cream from lush i'd seen on facebook um a post that a mum had put on about her son and his forehead was so red and raw. And he'd been scratching, bless him. He, I don't even think he was one. Or he might just be over one. But he was bleeding and everything. And she said she'd tried everything. Uh, but she'd heard that this Lush Dream Cream was really good. Um, at the time, I think it was about half past three in the morning. I was awake due to my eczema, like my scratching. And then... And I just thought, I need to do something. And I think it was then that I saw the Facebook post. So I just bought, I logged on, bought it. Lush cream. Dream cream. Hand and body lotion. I've started using it slightly on, on my hands here. I didn't want to do a massive area. Um, so I started using it on my hands. I don't know if that's even going to be in focus. I can't see. Uh, it's very dry. But the redness has gone away. It's all gone away. It's just very dry now. So if I keep using this, I'll let you know um, if it's any good or not. Um, but yeah, no, that's it. That's everything I use. I hope this is helpful to at least one person, maybe. If you suffer with eczema, uh, those are the products I buy over the counter. Um, and yeah, if you're really struggling, then do go see your GP. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I shall see you all soon. Thanks, guys. Oh, mm -hmm.